valuing bonds using present value. For these problems, you need your tables, uh, and we've been using table four, which is the present value of a dollar for a single sum, and table five, which is the present value of an annuity, where there's multiple payments of the same amount. And you'll recall that when we figure the bond price, it is uh, made up of two things. One, the principal, which in the first instance is a $300,000 bond, and the interest on that bond, and there are going to be made semi-annual interest payments, and uh, the bond itself is an 8% bond. So if it's an 8% bond, it would be 300000 times 8% for a half a year, since they're semi-annual cash payments. So the cash payments will be $12,000 for the first um, two instances here. So we need to find the present value of 300000 and the present value of uh, multiple payments, a 10-year bond would be 20 payments of $12,000. So w for both of these, um, we need the N, the number of periods, and since it's a semi-annual 10-year bond, the number of periods will be 20, 20 six-month periods over 10 years. The interest rate also needs to be expressed in terms of a semi-annual amount, so if the market rate is 10% for six months, that would be a 5% rate. So the interest rate will be 5%. So going to table four for the single sum, I find 0.37689. And going to table five, where n is 20 and the interest rate is 5%. So that's table five. This is table four. I find a value of 12.46221. So I'm going to multiply 300,000 times 0.37689, and I find the present value of $300,000 in today's terms is 113067 and finding 20 payments of $12,000 in terms of its present value is 12,000 times 12.46221, which is 149,547. Notice it says to round to the nearest dollar. So the bond price for this particular bond would be $262,000 or two hundred sixty two thousand six hundred fourteen dollars so that's its present value or that would be the cash proceeds you would get uh, when you sold the three hundred thousand dollar bond given those situations so notice you add the present value the principal and the present value the interest together looking at number two your principal again is three hundred thousand your interest payment is still $12,000, but now we're looking at an N of 20 years still for both of these, Table 4 and Table 5. But our interest rate is 6% a year, so that would be 3% for a half a year. So if I go out to my tables, I find 0.55. 368 for table 4's value and for table 5's value I find 14.87747 so multiplying that out 300,000 times table 4's value I find 166,104 and for table 5's value times 12,000 it's 178,530. So the present value of this bond or the bond price today 
would be 344,634. And 3, 4, and 5, notice it's a 10% bond, so 300,000 paying 10% every half year means that the payment the cash payment would be 15,000 instead of 12,000. So the principal is still 300,000, but the interest now is 15,000 because it's a 10% bond. And that's true in each of these uh, three, four, and five. Now, if I go to my tables, because I know you're getting good at this, I can see that it's a 10-year bond, so my N is going to be 20. My interest rate is 8% a year, so it's going to be 4% for a half of the year. And notice the N and the R values are the same. It's just we're going to use Table 4 for the single sum of the bond and Table 5 for those 20 checks of 15,000. So going to Table 4, I find a value of 0.45639. And going to Table 5, I find 13.59033. So 300,000 times 0.45639 gives us 136,917 is the present value of the bond and the present value of the interest 15,000 times 13.59033 is 203,855 so adding those two together the bond's price in today's dollars the present value is 340,772. Looking at number four, uh, our N is going to be still, oh, it's 20 years, so it's 40. N is going to be 40. And the market interest rate is 12% a year, so for a half a year, it would be 6%. So going to table 4, for uh, N of 40, interest rate of 6%, I find 0 or 0 0.09722. And going to table 5, I find 15.04630. So doing my math, 300,000 times the table 4 value comes to $29,166, quite a bit of difference. And for the table 5 value uh, times 15,000, it comes to 203,855. Oops, did I? Nope, I wrote down the wrong number. It's uh, 2. Two twenty five six ninety five. So adding together the present value of the bond plus the present value of the interest payments, the bond price is two hundred fifty four thousand eight sixty one. Given those uh, assumptions, and for the last one, my N is going to be equal to forty because it's a twenty year bond. And the interest rate is going to be equal to 3% since the annual rate is 6. So going to the table 4 again, I find a value of 0 0.30659. And going to table 5, I find a value of 23.114. Seven, seven. 
So multiplying this out, 300,000 times table 4's value comes to 91,968. And table 5's value is 346,722. So adding those two together, the present value of the bond is 438,690. So hopefully this has given you enough uh, examples of how to use those tables to find the present value of both the principal or the face amount of the bond plus the series of interest payments uh, for interest.